Hello, Carl here with Sustainability Theory News. We're over at Civil Eats with uh, a good story on should we be farming more fish in the Great Lakes? Now, I'm from Michigan myself, the Great Lakes state, 3,000 miles of shoreline along that lake. It's beautiful, beautiful. And our state here, you just recently passed a law, or really not a law, the regulatory agencies got together and said, no, 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 we're not going to do fish farming. And you know, they say it's got to protect the species, the native species and all that. You know, I'm somewhat on board with that, but I think we can do fish farming responsibly. It is very hard to do. They go on in the article to say fish farming on land is also very, very hard. They use growing power in Milwaukee as an example of someone doing it successfully, where in growing power they use aquaponics, growing fish and plants together. But even there, they say they don't make money off the fish. The fish... Basically, when you sell the fish, that pays for the feed they use to feed the fish. It's the free fertilizer you get from the fish that feeds the plants. And the plants, the greens, you get like 5 to $10 a pound for greens. That's where your profit is. So lakes are kind of the biggest production. And fish don't use up a lot of feed relative to body weight. They are pretty sustainable fish. They can be, but you just can't put them in too intensive operations. There is operations that grow fish and clams and oysters and seaweeds together, and they all kind of filter the water around each other. Maybe we should look into doing that. But, uh, you know, that's just my opinion. Please leave yours in the comments below. If you'd like to see more news headlines like this, subscribe to my channel, and the link will be in the description. Have a great day.